We're going to walk real quick through what I think is the single best place to figure out what tags you're going to get or where you want to hunt for the year. So it's GoHunt.com. I'm not going to explain how to get there. It's 2023. Everyone should know how to go. Um, I believe last time I knew it cost $150 a year. I think it's worth every penny if you're hunting multiple, multiple states. It's been a little cantankerous lately about logging in. I, I'm not sure. It usually just used to just keep me logged in. But anyways, we're logged in here. So um, let's let's go back here. We're, we will dive into it later if I get enough questions about it. But you've got several tools to use. They've got videos. They've got articles. They've got a shop. So if you're a member, you can go shop there. Um, you get money back towards using uh using the shop to buy stuff so there's a lot of stuff there they keep getting bigger there here's here's what it costs the insider is what you really need for uh, what we're trying to do here but you can explore those other options there so we're going to go to filtering um, and see here it's done it again Anyways, uh, should be logged in here. Back to filtering. This is where the meat and potatoes are. So as of right now, they've got Alaska and they've got most of the western states and they've got Kansas. Um, kind of just a big overview here. Arizona, Utah, Colorado, Wyoming, and Montana for the non-resident, they're going to have point systems. Nevada has point system. And then Idaho and New Mexico do not. So right out of the gate, um, if you don't want to play the points game, for the most part, you're limited to Idaho and New Mexico. Now, there are some over-the-counter options in Colorado. Um, I'm not familiar enough with other, other options. There are over-the-counter uh, bow tags for uh, like deer in Arizona um, but those are not things I really look at but we're just gonna pick Colorado it's pretty pretty easy you pick a species that you think you want to hunt um, all right so now we got Colorado pulled up here um, mule deer you can do this slider to to look at trophy quality if that's what's most important to you Um, you know, and I think there's a little subjectivity probably to the trophy quality. I don't know if they're looking at Boone and Crockett record books or what they're, what, how they're determining that. But, uh, generally speaking, the, the places I've been, it's been pretty accurate. You'll pick your residency. You'll put if you have any points or don't have any points. And then you slide this draw odds right here. We'll show you what you can get. So with zero points as your first first choice, uh, 180 or better, these are the units that they say are going to get you what you want. Um, you can go down here. This is going to be pretty important for a lot of guys. It's going to get rid of those Eastern Colorado here. Slide the, the public over here. And, you know, I happen to have two points. Colorado is not a state that I would particularly suggest uh, building points. I think it's a every couple years deal. You can slide for success rates. If you're limited on season dates, you can pick date ranges. You can pick the dates here. For seasons, you can go in here and you can pick the seasons you're interested in hunting. And realistically this right here is what I think is going to help you figure out if you're limited on certain dates that you can get and you don't have points in you know all the states or you don't have enough points or whatever this is going to allow you to hone in on the things that you want we're going to go ahead and X out the mule deer here and we're going to go pick elk 
Okay, now we got elk loaded. Okay, trophy potential again. Um, you slide the trophy potential. You can get rid of this. It kept my two points from the mule deer. You can get rid of that points there. You can go down here to the seasons. Actually, we're gonna we're gonna take a look at something else for you. So we're gonna go to the seasons. And we're going to look at over-the-counter counter archery options. So this instantly shows you the over-the-counter options. Now, obviously, a lot of this data you can get, or all this, not necessarily the trophy quality, but the, the odds of drawing or the over-the-counter you can get off the website uh, of the particular state that you're after. But Go Hunt puts it all here in one spot. So right here, you can see all the over-the-counter options. You, you can go... Um, in Colorado. Okay, we're going to get rid of Colorado and we're just going to go look at one other state. We're going to grab Wyoming and we're going to get antelope. Uh, this, I think this is very helpful for leave the trophy quality. We're going to go non-resident. So for non-resident, they have special and regular. We're not going to get into that in this video. But if, if we got enough uh, requests for it, I can start diving into some of this a little bit better. We're going to do 100% draw odds, non-resident, regular. So that's the cheaper tag. Uh, this, this is it. This is actually pretty crazy because not too long ago, uh, you would have had unit 23 and 17 in there for sure. And they are completely gone now. Just do one point. I'm going to slide this over to 100% draw odds with one point. That gets you a couple extras. Two points. You get 17 and 23. I, I cannot believe people are paying those points, but it really kind of shows you the points creep situation. But you can go through here and type that in. So now that you got some of those, you can go down here to the public land and you can slide those over. And when you get in here, the 30 it's going to eliminate a bunch of those units, which is exactly why I can't believe people are spending points on those. But most of the, the antelope hunting in Wyoming that is going to, you know, be frustrating is going to be due to public land issues. So that is very helpful. We're going to pick one more state. Uh, let's just, let's just look at Arizona and let's look at Coos Deer. leave the trophy potential we'll do a non-resident and zero points I, I don't know that you're gonna be able to draw anything with zero points I guess there's some so there's a zero points you can get coos deer tags near at or near 100% draw odds. Now you, you need to do some checking on these. Sometimes there'll be spikes because of uh, the shift in demand based on a lot of times based on the demand driven by Go Hunt, Hunting Fool, why, uh, Eastman's, and then um, I can't I can't remember the other one that is really popular off the top of my head, but. There, there are several other options out there for uh, tag applications and assistance, but I don't think anything is as good as Go Hunt. Those other ones, for whatever reason, continue to focus on only the high demand stuff, and uh, there are no secrets in there. So, uh, this the point of this is to tell you that, in my opinion, Go Hunt is the absolute best tool for the non-resident hunter who's 
trying to fill his seasons, whether it's one week, two weeks a year, it doesn't matter, but you're after hunting every year, multiple states, and you're trying to figure out where you can ac actually get tags. Um, every one of these units has states has pretty much the same thing. You come here, you pick a state, you pick your species, you, you can slide this bar and experiment with what the trophy quality kind of looks like. Check on how many points you're going to need uh, for the different animals, different species. Like this, for example, uh, elk, you're not going to get anything in Arizona as a non-resident with zero points. But you can go down here, you can pick the seasons you want to hunt. Do you want to hunt with a muzzleloader? Do you want to hunt with a, a bow? Uh, or are you only looking for these dates because those are the only dates that you can get off work? You can figure out how much public land is in it at a quick glance. Now, I do have to reiterate that I believe this is only a starting tool. Once you have figured out, you need to actually go to that state and then dig into their regs to figure out all the rules and all all that stuff, or maybe even call and talk to the, the fish and game department for that state. But this is a one-stop shop. We're going to get rid of this again. One-stop shop for all these states. You can go out there and you can figure out what tags you can get, uh, what the odds of you getting a tag, how many years in advance you're going to start planning for that because you may need to, to build points. Whatever it is, this is the one-stop shop. Now, this is the, the best tool in my opinion. Like I said, uh, if I get enough demand for other types of questions about digging into what states I think are best for this or what states I think are best for that, um, I will start doing some follow-up videos. By the time this comes out, you're going to be winding down on some deadlines. I got this out a little bit late because of my hunting seasons uh, were pretty busy up until about a week ago, a week and a half ago. Um, but you're going to have like a Wyoming elk deadline pretty soon, so it's not going to leave a lot of time. But some of these are deadlines are in February, a lot of them March, you know, May time frames. So this tool could be used this year still, and it could be used to start planning your future as far as what states and when and what animals you want to hunt. I'll leave a link in the description below to a thread that... Uh, you can go over to on long range only. You can ask me any questions about this particular video. And if you would like to see other things in the future, uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, it helps us. Uh, the more subscribers we have, the, obviously, the, the more we can do this stuff for you. Uh, it's, if you're not a member on longrangeonly.com, it's quick, it's free, it's easy to sign up. We'd love to have you. There's lots of great information. You know, we're all hunters too, so that's why we've got this hunting style video as opposed to our typical shooting uh, type stuff, long range, low development, that type of stuff. But we're out there hunting just like all the rest of you. We appreciate you taking the time to watch. Have a great day.